Ladies and gentlemen and everything in between, welcome back to Let's Play Grandia 2! My name is Foog, and, uh, actually there's an old man over here. Hey, old man, who are you? I'll talk to you, old man. That moon shines evil once more in the night. Could it be the resurrection of Alma? <laughs> um, great. Let's run, I don't like walking. Walking is boring. So when we last left off, um, this water, uh, was talking, you know, and I noticed something. You know, maybe you didn't notice, but I definitely noticed. Um, this water, this fountain, alright, it's not a fountain, because fountains imply, you know, sprinkling water coming up and flying around, you know, you know, pouring in some sort of way. It's just a statue in some water. I'm offended. Anyway, let's move on. It's time for uh, a cutscene. Or not really a cutscene, just sort of a segment. Story segment. Plot development. Here we go. Father Carius, I... I... Yeah? You what? Speak up. Elena, are you the only one to make it back? Where are the others? What has happened? I looked very stressed like that. Sigh. During the ceremony... No, oh, father! Oh, this is overly dramatic. Walk towards you. Oh, child. You have said enough for now. Rest and speak on these things a later time. Well, anyway, my job here is done. You've paid me enough. I wasn't exactly the most successful bodyguard. No, she is alive. But what the hell was that ceremony about? Mr. Ryudo, you must be tired, and it's none of your business. We shall prepare some warm STFU for you. Come, please. Come inside. I laugh at you. Elena, you as well. Let's get out of here. Or into there, is more like it. I can't tell you much about the ceremony, but the last I saw, and this sounds odd, Elena had grown these black wings. And why are we still talking about this stuff? I thought we were moving on. Anyway, we cut out of there pretty damn fast. Let me tell ya. Father, I... I had wings! Like an albatross! Um, yeah. Hush now, Elena. No more speaking about albatrosses. Albatross eye. Albatrosses. You're tired. Go to your room and STFU. Understood? Yes, Father. That's right, I'm your father. You obey me. And stop stomping through the house. Do you have to stomp everywhere you walk? Goodness, gravy child. Stomping around. So the ceremony was a failure. And Elena possessed by the wings. And I'm keeping my eyes shut while I speak for some reason. You mind filling me in, chief? Try finishing your sentences. I knew it would be dangerous. Oh, oh, that's it. Okay, moving on. Yet, even so, we had to do it. The wings had to be sealed. The wings of Valmar, Ryudo. The wings of darkness. What? Um, is that, is that, is that a big deal? As Grannis is the dark of light, so Valmar is the devil of godness. Long ago, the two met the two met in battle, as was ordained. The battle between good and evil, right? Everyone knows the fairy tale. Valmar was defeated, yes. But not destroyed. Even now, the foul one prepares for the coming of eternal night. Hmm. That sounds totally unbelievable. Which is new. <laughs> Valmar grows in power with each passing day, seeking to break the seals which, for a time, have kept the darkness bound. As is foretold in scripture, the day of darkness is at hand. The world groans with the heaviness of Valmar's rebirth, which sounds disgusting. The devil seeks again to blot out the light of Grannis. Valmar will return our world to darkness, then destroy it. That's cheery. Sadly, even the power of our Pope, Zara Innocentius, is not enough to ward the seals against the very darkness itself. Yet, 
It is the work of myself and my brethren to prevent the advent of that day, when all light shall fade away. Hmm. Sounds like the plot thickens. Or that that's the plot itself. Ah. Were it not so, I would not have sent my daughter to that doomed ceremony. Your daughter? Te oh, I wasn't going to guess Tessa. Tessa! Hey, didn't she have red hair? What do you have bluish purpley hair. Who are you, old man? The sealing ceremony failed. And if what you say is true, not only did it fail, but Elena has become possessed by Valmar's accursed wings as well. I'm being extremely dramatic right now. <laughs> what happens next? In the fairy tale, that is. I mean, I don't really care. This is, you know. The pieces of Valmar devour the soul of those they possess, our dear Elena. Once she is dot dot dot, emptied dot dot dot, the wings will move on. On to another host. This is how Valmar feeds, gathering strength to re-enter our world. The fetters will be loosed. Which is an extremely odd sentence. Well, it's not really a sentence, it ends with dot dot dot. Rudo, will you lend us your services again? Will you help Elena hyphen be her bodyguard? Dot dot dot? Because you really can't speak that? It's not really a sentence. These sad events may yet be made to work in our favor. I wish to send Elena to Granis Cathedral immediately. It is rumored that His Holiness Zera knows of an ancient sacrament which has the power to cleanse the soul of darkness. The rite would free Elena and shield others from the taint of evil. We may again be able to seal the wings away. Such an act would delay Valmar's return. However, those that follow darkness will not sit idly as your plans come to f as our plans, not yours, come to fruition. Because this is not your plan. I'm sorry, were you waiting for me to give a damn? Jeez, Ryudo. You're a brat right now. No, Ryudo. I wait for you to apologize. Uh, er, that's not apologize. I wait for you to recognize an opportunity. For your services, you shall receive, say, a statue of gold. It belonged to the church, but needs outweigh vanity. I believe it would make a pretty enough prize. Let me think about it. I can't stand gravy or women. I meant it! What was that? Something outside? I'm very angry about this. How dare somebody be noisy outside? Okay, and then we run off and, uh... Ah, music! Great. Oh, we're being mooned! Oh, we're being mooned! Or not. Mm. Oh, voice acting. This feels so good. <laughs> I feel so free, so filled with power. Oh, I feel Naughty. excellent! What? Th that girl did this? What have you done? You foul dark one! Leave at once! Wow, awesome. Nice wait. What do you think you're doing, huh? What do you mean by dark one? Huh. Hmm. She has oh. a fair hand with magic. And a fair cleavage as well, apparently. That's pretty much all they want us to see there. It's obvious. <laughs> and other fair parts besides. But you but you see? Do you I look see? Like a dark one to you? <sighs> I mean, really! Ryudo, beware! You looked very impressed when you said that. Far from foul. Are you really one of the dark ones? Huh? Ooh, just the sight of this place disgusts me. Wait, answer this my question! You, this church? No, you didn't answer my question. The scum who live here too. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, I guess you did. All right. He's really just standing there. Nah, that's not dangerous. The church. Oh, what have you done? Oops, that was my phone. <laughs> now I feel better. <laughs> What's the big deal? It's just a rickety old church. Now, how about I obliterate this town? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Are you out of your mind? Or are you just as sick and twisted as you look? 
That's you're, fun. You're terrible. What an awful thing to say. I thought you... Uh, well, this will tame your tongue. Ooh, fighting time! And what were you about to say you thought we... What? Like, thought you were sexy or something? Or, you know, something like that? Probably not. Alright, now, she's faster than me. I don't know if you noticed that, but she's faster, so there's almost no chance I'll be able to cancel her out, but let's try to at least get a hit in here. Aww. Well, at least it didn't cancel me. And, as you can see, it looks like she's pretty much invincible at this part of the point of the game. So, we'll just fight. This is one of those staged battles, or however you pronounce... Not pro However you... Whatever. Whatever. Oh no, you sunk my attack. So I'm just gonna have to stab you again. If I can hit you first. Hit you first! Yeah! Oh, I should have canceled her out. Well, then again, I'm not sure if I would have been able to get hit in. It doesn't matter. And I died! Damn it! Such intense power! <laughs> <laughs> well, well, my dear. You make a rather nice plaything. Don't toy with me! <laughs> Dude, that's so bad. I like you. My name is Millennia. Next time we meet, I'll make you mine. <laughs> well, practice up! How do you pronounce... Uh, well... Toodles! All right, later, noodles. Whatever. I think he likes she her. She can fight. Yeah, see. For a girl. Or. Father, He's a sexist. I'll take you up on your offer. I want to find out for myself just exactly what is going on in her clothes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, it, well, really, that's the only reason that, you know... Oh, oh, my turn again. Ryudo, are you fine with this? Didn't you say that you don't like getting involved in matters of religion? He said I'll get to meet that Pope Zara at the cathedral. Think about it, Sky. The Pope! If we can get in good with him, we can get our hands on some ungodly amounts of loot. I'm not the newly hatched chick, Ryudo. I suspect you have other reasons for your broad change of heart. I'll cook you! I will. Hey, don't land on me! You just ticked me off! He's probably got poop on my shoulder. Dang it! Mr. Ryudo, sorry to keep you waiting. Here's your money. Yeah, give me that money! Ooh, shiny! Oh, that's right, not money, it's statue. It's not really money. It'll suffice. Please take good care of Elena. Okay, I suppose we'll just have to. Thank you for your help, shall we go? Grand's Cathedral's a bit of a hike, Princess. Better leave your silk slippers behind. Sure you're up to this? Still such a big mouth, jeez, man. I must go. I do not want the others to have died in vain. I'm gonna have so much trouble doing her voice, it's too high. Farewell, Father. Please take care. Elena, be careful during your travels. I shall pray for your safety. And I'll pray for the patience I'm gonna need. Oh, I, I knew. I knew it. Well, I remember most of this game anyway. I will not be a burden. I'm quite able to fend for myself. With what? Your pigtail things coming out of your skirt? So, the songstress has spunk. Good. Let's move. And hang your head in shame. I must get to Grand's Cathedral, no matter the cost. Okay. Whatever. Stop entering me. It's supposed to be the other way around. Okay, stop, stop. Don't don't say crap like that, Fu. Come on, man. You're better than that. No, you're not. No, you're you're filthy. Whatever. Okay. In into the store. Into the store. Again? What did the it's these fences, man! 
fence. You can't have like a miniature little mini fence outside your store that prevents people from getting inside. Okay, uh, moving on. Welcome to my shop. Look around. Take your time. So, uh, we just got paid with an item. And, uh... Oh, oh yeah, that's right. It's right... It was right there, man. Pay attention. As you can see, Golden Statue restores 5 health. Don't use it. Just sell it. I've already checked... Well, double checked, that is. Whatever. Made sure that if you sell the Golden Statue... Here, you're not going to get a worse price or better whatever price than anywhere else. So just sell it. Get it done. Sell. Okay. And now, um... Let's, uh, let's buy a new weapon. Because, as you can see, we apparently have a crappy weapon right now. And, uh, this... Either one would be an upgrade, but this looks much nicer than what we apparently have. Yes, I'll equip that. Uh, thank you. And let's see if I can sell my old one, Geoblade. There we go. Sell that. I don't need it. And uh, let's see if there's anything else I can buy. Ooh, I can buy some leather armor. And probably some... Well, I can't really uh, afford the leather armor, actually. Um, I can afford some climbing boots, though. Uh, ups our speed and defense. I get two of those. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I, I apparently forget how to do this stuff. Alright, so this lowers his defense a little bit, but that's no big deal. It increases movement speed, or movement capacity. So, oh wait. Where's the... There you go. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, so that's good. And, uh, let's get, uh, let's get a couple things here, too. Let's get, uh, five of each thing. Yep, and, uh, I think we can get five of this, too. Unless my game freezes! No, I didn't freeze. I probably did. I still need to figure out what's going on. This is going to be all desynced now, I think. Um, I gotta find out what's going on. It's, it's actually Fraps, uh, you know, saving stuff. And I think I know why, too. So, I'll see if I can fix that for next time. Um, hopefully, uh, this isn't horribly desynced now. If you're worried about how to fight monsters, ask that guy. Don't get... Why am I reading a store manager's voice? I don't need to do that. Alright, there's uh, one more thing I want to do before we call this an episode. And that is, uh... Actually, it should have been to save. Actually, I think there's a safe place here, too. Let's just go there. Let's go to the Iron Mountains. And yes, I'm saying Iron Mountains because I don't know how to pronounce in Inor, 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 Inora, Inor, Inor. So I'm going to call them Iron Mountains because that's what it is. It's a, uh, a spoonerism of my game freezing. I cannot explain that. Well, like I said, I kind of can. Maybe. Uh, it's a spoonerism of iron. Not spoonerism, it's a... Uh, what do you call it? When you just mix letters up. Spoonerism is actually when you mix a parts word or something. Um, but let's get into one fight before we end the episode, because, hey... Uh, might as well. I think I have enough time for one fight, right? Yeah, just enough time for one. So, uh, let's, let's kill off somebody. Let's kill you first, because we can. And, uh, here. She is not a fighter. If you hadn't guessed that already, too bad. i bomb the crap out of this guy. Ba bam And, uh, ba bam Impact bomb! Oh, not yet. There we go. Beautiful. And he died. Hey, you. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. In your face. Your face, your face. These guys were no real challenge. Actually, they weren't. But they were a little bit of a waste of special points power. Special special power. SP. Whatever it is. That's okay. Whoops. What did I do? Oh, I hit a mushroom. You too, mushroom! Ooh, nah. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. We're gonna head back over to the save point, and this is where we'll call it an episode, and I will see what I can do about the freezing, glitching up 
video stuff, which should not be happening, but it is. You know how it works. So until next time, ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between. Corner power! This is Fook saying, uh, take it easy.